Hello everyone. Welcome to Brain Blitz Audios. Today we will be looking at a math doku puzzle and how to solve a 6x6 six six puzzle in an easy manner. Please watch our introduction episode to know more about math doku. So this is our method to solve a 6x6 six six puzzle. The objective is to fill the grid in with the digits 1 through 6. First, identify the cages and mark them as A, B, C, etc. Second, note down the options available for each cage operation. Third, if there is only one option, then mark it on the puzzle. Fourth, choose the option from others which meets the criteria to complete the puzzle. Okay then, let's get into the puzzle. Let's name the cages first. This will be cage A, cage B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J, K, L, M, and N. Now, we we'll look at the options available for each cage. Now, cage, even though cage A and cage C look alike, they will have different options because cage C is L-shaped while cage A is straight. So, for cage A, there are three cells and the operation is multiplication. After multiplying, our result must be 24. So, the options are 4 times 3 times 2 and 4 times 6 times 1. Now, let's look at cage B. In this cage, there are 3 cells and the operation is multiplication. After multiplying, our result must be 10. So, the options are 5 times 2 times 1. That's the only option. Let's go into cage C. This cage has 3 cells and the operation is multiplication. After multiplying, our result must be 24. So, the options are 4 times 3 times 2, 4 times 6 times 1 and 6 times 2 times 2. Now, let's look at cage D. In this cage, there are three cells and the operation is addition. After adding, our result must be 6. So, the only option is 1 plus 2 plus 3. Now, Let's look at cage E. Now, in this cage, there are three cells and the operation is addition. After adding, our result must be 15. So, the only option is 4 plus 6 plus 5. Now, let's look at cage F. Even though cage F has uh, the operation as addition and the result as 15, it has 4 cells, while cage E has 3 cells. So, the options will dif differ. So, the options are 6 plus 4 plus 3 plus 2, 6 plus 4 plus 4 plus 1, 5 plus 5 plus 3 plus 2, 5 plus 5 plus 4 plus 1, 5 plus 3 plus 3 plus 4, then that's it. Now, We'll discuss about cage G after discussing after the other cages. Now, 
Let's look at cage H. In this case, there are three cells and the operation is multiplication. After multiplying, our result must be 36. So the options are 6 times 6 times 1 and 6 times 2 times 3. Now, let's look at cage I. In this cage, there are three cells and the operation is addition. After adding, our result must be 11. So, the options are 6 plus 4 plus 1, 6 plus 3 plus 2, 5 plus 5 plus 1, 5 plus 4 plus 2, 5 plus 3 plus 3 and 4 plus 4 plus 3. Now, let's look at KJ. In this case, there are two cells and the operation is division. After dividing, our result must be 3. So, the options are 3 divided by 1 and 6 divided by 2. Now, let's look at cage K. In this cage, there are two cells and the operation is addition. After adding, our result must be 6. So, the options are 5 plus 1 and 4 plus 2. Now, let's look at cage L. In this cage, there are two cells and the operation is subtraction. After subtracting, our result must be 2. So, the options are 3 minus 1, 4 minus 2, 5 minus 3, and 6 minus 4. Now, Let's look at cage M. In this cage, there are two cells and the operation is subtraction. After subtracting, our result must be 3. So, the options are 4 minus 1, 5 minus 2, and 6 minus 3. Now, let's look at the last cage, which is cage N. In this cage, there are two cells and the operation is addition. After adding, our result must be 5. So, the options are 3 plus 2 and 4 plus 1. Now, let's look at cage G. Now, this is a special cage known as a freebie cage. In this cage, what you should do is write down the number given, which in this case is 2. Now, let's write down the, the options. Write down the option, type down the cages with one option. So, in cage B, 5, 2, and 1. In cage D, 1, 2, and 3. In cage E, 4 plus 6 plus 5. And that's it. Now, let's start solving. Let's look at cage I. If we use the option 4 plus 4 plus 3, the only way to write it is 4 over here, 4 over here, and 3 over here. But we can't use this option because we know that in cage A, there is a 4 in both of the options. So, we can eliminate that the option 4 plus 4 plus 3. Now, Let's look at cage C. Now, if we use the option 6 times 2 times 2, the only way to write it is 6 over here, 2 over here, and 2 over here. But this is not possible 
because 2 is being repeated in the same column. So we can eliminate, you can also eliminate that option. Now, if we use the option 4 times 6 times 1, the 1 would go over here and 4 and 6 would come over here. And the 3 would go over here. Now, in, in gate A, the only option with 3 is 4 times 3 times 2. Now, we know that a 4 will come in gate E. So, the 4 in gate A will go over here and the 2 over here. Now, in case D, 2 can't come over here or over here as then it would be a repeat of 2 in the same row. So, the 2 would go over here. Now, in this case, 2 is already done in case D. The remaining op options are 1 and 3. Now, 1 can't come here as then it would be a repeat of 1 in the same row. So, 3 would go over here and 1 over here. Now, the options for cage B is 5 times 2 times 1. 1 and 2 already came in cage D, which will of course come, so it will be 5 and 2 and 1 will go over here. Now, let's look at cage H. In cage H, if we use the option C, we, will, we can eliminate the option 6 times 6 times 1. Because if we use that, 1 would be, it would be a repeat of 1 in the same column. So, we'll be using the option 6 times 2 times 3. If we use the option 6 times 4 times 1 in case C. Now, 2 can't come over here or over here as then it would be a repeat of 2 in the same column and in the same row. So, the 2 would go over here. Now, now let's look at this cage, cage F. 1, 2, and 4 going over here. So, the remaining numbers are 3, 6, and 3, 6, and 5. Now, we know that 5 will not come in cage H. So, the 5 would go over here in cage F. Now, 6 or 3 will come either over here or over here. Now, let's select the options in cage F, which has 5. These are 5 plus 5 plus 3 plus 2, 5 plus 5 plus 4 plus 1, and 5 plus 3 plus 3 plus 4. Now, there is no 6 in any of the options with 5. So, the 6 would go over here, and 3 would come over here. Now, the options with 5 and 3 are 5 plus 5 plus 3 plus 2 and 5 plus 3 plus 3 plus 4. In either of the case, 5 or 3 would be repeated. Now, let's look at gauge I. Now, in this column, the remaining numbers are 1, 5 and 6. So 6 and 5 
can't come together because there is no option can't come together in cage i because there is no option with six and five coming together so either six and one would go or five and one one is sure to be in this cage now if we use the option five and one over here then the option with five and one is five plus five plus one then we will have to use the number five over here which is not possible because then it would be a repeat of five in the same column so six and one would go and five will go, go over here now the option with six plus one is six and one is six plus four plus one so four will go over here now for completing this column here it is six but here's the problem in cage m six minus five or five minus six is not equal to three so we will not use the option four times six times one we will be using the option four times three times two and if we use that option a two can't come over here because then it would we know that a two will come in cage b so then if two is repeated it can't be repeated so the two will go over here four and three will be over here then two one four three five here the remaining number is six now it is four times six times one now four came over here so four will not come over here and four will go over here and one over here now uh, in cage in this cell one came over here and two came over here so the remaining number is three now two can't come over here as then it would be a repeat of two which is not possible two will go over here and one over here now the remaining numbers for this row is three five and six now in cage h we can't use the option six times two times three because two can't come in any of the cells in that cage so we'll be using the option six times six times one six will be over six will be over here six will be over here and one over here remaining numbers are five and three now let's look at this column the remaining numbers are four and six Uh, let's look at this column the uh, numbers written are six one four remaining numbers are two three and five now three two can't come here either three or five will come over here now suppose we use the option five plus three plus three this can't be used because uh, there is a repeat of three in this column so we can eliminate that option now 
if five and three can't come together, then two and three or two and five must come together. Now, if we use two and five, two and five will go over here and four will come over here. And then here six will come and three. This would be possible. So we write a four over here, six over here, and three over here. We don't know the places of two and five, so we write it in the middle. Uh, no, so two came over here, so five would come over here, and two over here. The remaining numbers for this row is three and four. We write it in the middle. Now, let's look at gate L. Now, in gate L, we gate L, the options are 3 minus 1, 4 minus 2, 5 minus 3, and 6 minus 4. We can eliminate the option 4 minus 2 because then it will be a repeat of both the numbers in the same row and we can also eliminate the option 6 minus 4 because then it would be a repeat of 6 in the same column the remaining options are 3 minus 1 and 5 minus 3 a 3 is sure to come over here so we write it in the middle in kj the options are 3 divided divide by 1 and 6 divided by 2 we can eliminate the option 3 divided by 1 because if we use that option we can't write 3 over here or over here because then it would be a repeat of 3 in the same row so we'll be using the option 6 divided by 2 so the 2 will go over here and the 6 over here now in case n the options are 2 plus 3 and 4 plus 1 we can eliminate the option 2 plus 3 because then it would be a repeat of both the numbers in the same row. We'll use the option 4 plus 1. 4 will go over here and 1 will go over here because 1 can't be repeated in the same column. Then for completing that row, 5 will go over here and 5 plus what is 6? 5 plus 1 is 6. And here, 5 minus 3 will go. Now, let's look at gate C. Now, the 4 in gate C will go over here and 3 over here because 4 can be repeated in the same column. Now, for completing this column, 1, 2, 3, 4, and 6, 5, and 3 over here, 1, 2, 3, 4, 6, 5, and then 6 and 4, now 6 came over here, so 4 over here, 6 over here. Then the 5 in cage F would go over here, 3 over here. And the other 3 in cage F would go over here because 3 can't be repeated in the same column. And 4 would go over here. 1, then 2 would go over here. And for completing the whole puzzle, 1 will go over here. Let's check our answers. 651243. 651243. 134652. 134652. 415326. 4153262. 5234615234361. 52362 562514 and 362514. So we solved it correctly. This is all about MathLoco. Wasn't it interesting? For more useful videos please subscribe to our channel rain blitz audios see you soon